It had a lot of bad cards in it. The bites were uh, what got me to that point in the run, but they meant that the deck had like three or four more blanks in it when setting up. Nothing feels better than losing with Frozen Eye. Didn't feel incredible. Felt like a run that could have been a win. <laughs> Good game. One halt. No, I think in general we don't take cards. I could take tranquility. It's possible that a Tranquility is a good card. I would not hate having an upgraded Tranquility later on in the run. Sure, I'll take one Tranquility. And a Foresight. Hey, Atarnax! Head kills heart on turn 16, but heart kills head on turn 14 or 15. Ooh, that is a close one. Tantrum. <laughs> Every Watcher card is just so strong. Okay, I don't think we take any of those ones, though. Sure, inner peace is quite what I want. That gives six more block.
Could put Tantrum in my opening hand. Alternately, I could not do that. I think I'm good with not putting cards on top of scroll. First difficult turn of the run, was it? Was, did I miss it? Are you talking about a difficult, different turn or? Hmm. Didn't seem too bad. Diva form. Diva form. Diva form is certainly one thing you can do. Okay. Do I want this? Like the energy at the moment, I think. I don't think adding a second tantrum actually makes the deck better here. I'm not sure about the second tranquility. I think Nirvana is just... Well, I already have a Foresight, and with Deva Farm I want all of the cut-through fates. I guess I could try to do that. It's just a very bad version of Talk to the Hand, I think. Flurry is a good card. I may want one of them at some point, but I think I want Empty Mind more at the moment. To get the Deva form thing going.
how can I do Ascension 20 and you can't do Ascension 2? Lots more practice, probably. Probably lots and lots and lots more practice. I now have a talk to the hand. Uh, that makes the deck better. Hey, Jeremy, thanks for the six months. Mental Fortress? Well, these cards are so good. <laughs> these cards are so good, and there are so many of them. Slime takes significantly more damage than not playing Deva Form, I think. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Nine plus twenty-four plus twelve plus twelve. The scales hit me four times when I play Tantrum, because that's not what they do. They hit you uh, four, four damage whenever you play an attack card. Establishment, Brilliance, and Volt. I like Volt. I like Volting. What does this deck want? I'm not sure it wants this Neko Eye. Does it want to snack away? It doesn't really seem like it does. Can this tech take Busted Crown and just win? Busted Crown over snack away? It probably can. It probably like already has enough. We could also take the Runic Dome. Runic Dome is unpleasant, but it seems fine here. Grantsa. The thing about Watcher is that she is more complicated to play than the other classes. However, if you play her well, she's very powerful. A lot of people who play this game are not going to find the Watcher to be overpowered because they're not going to be having a very good grasp of the complexities of the character. It's not reasonable to look at what a character looks like when the 
best players in the world to play that character. And then think that the devs balanced the character wrong. Because you have to consider that 99.9% .9 of the player base are not even playing on Ascension 20. So, like, yeah. Let alone, like, winning at Ascension 20 at a fairly good clip. Runic Dome means I need to think. Oh, it's okay. I highly doubt that I will be thinking at any time soon. I want to use a potion here. It is a little bit harder to play a deck based around Wrath form when you don't know if you're being attacked or not, isn't it? Are all ones winnable at Ascension 20? Well, I lost the last one, so the answer must be no, as I have never made a mistake in my life. Meditate's okay. Sure. Can make meditate work here, I assume. Hey, Jobum. With 500 gold, I don't hate the idea of going to question marks, to be totally honest. This is better than a question mark by a fair distance, I think. is just a hallway fight. Be attacked for 24 if I end in wrath. Oh, and if I end in wrath and kill that one. 36 if I didn't kill that one. Just 
Just need some more card draw from somewhere. I guess Empty Mind and Meditate are both sort of card draw upgrades. Card Remove on Strike and Defend are also sort of card draw upgrades. <laughs> Second Scrawl, that would be nice, yeah. White Beast Statue Fire Potion. There's an inner piece. Inner piece is theoretically card draw. I didn't take the last one I was offered. Should probably take that card. Signature move. I am not giving these enemies 612 gold. I am sorry. <laughs> for this. Uh, I'm okay with skipping the ceramic fish, I think. I have 669 gold already. Might need a rest soon. Sort of getting that vibe. There 
Curry in a bottle, Sands of Time, Third Eye, brilliant. I could take Third Eye. But I would rather not. I'm not gonna rust, I guess, before next elite fight since I have Fairy in a bottle now. Audra's a nice pickup. Draw four cards, draw three cards. I have this problem where I'm having too many cards in my hand. Like playing a draw four into a scrawl doesn't really work that well. I'm starting to need card removes more than card draw, I think. Foresight is sort of like card removes. Why did people say this upgraded by 5 when I said it upgraded by 6? Like, multiple people told me that, and it really weirded me out, because I was pretty sure it was 6, but I wasn't going to, like, say anything about it, and then it is 6. I don't... <laughs> I don't understand. Twitch chat, are you okay? I'm not gonna successfully use fairy in a bottle, am I? That's unlucky. Do I like want to take lethal damage? Maybe I want to take lethal damage. So just keep the fairy in a bottle. I could use the bottled miracle here, I suppose. <sighs> this turn's tricky. This might be the first difficult turn of the run. You dreaming owl. I have not tried the Tainted Grail. Uh, we are either being attacked for 48 or, or 42. One of the two. I think the defect is the hardest character to play. When did I say that? Oh, I probably said that once upon a time. I actually think defect's fairly easy to play.
I should have played Mental Fortress first, maybe. Guess it doesn't matter. Umamori. Lesson learned. Lesson learned seems like a way to make this run even more ridiculous than it already is. Let's upgrade every card. Block potion is probably worse than fairy in a bottle, right? Since I can't tell when I need to be blocking. Our campfire is useful. Probably rather have a hallway fight right now. I would definitely rather have a shuriken. We can work with this. Is Hand of Greed ever correct? Holy shit. <laughs> How much do you want to win this run by? How many hearts do you want to kill? Like seven? Hand of Greed is a great pick here if you had to kill, kill uh, seven hearts at the same time at the end of the run. But because we don't, I don't think it's very important to be taking it. Question is, which of these powers do I take? I think I just take Deva form, but there are arguments for the other ones too. I wonder if I actually need Deva form to win this run. Foresight's a pretty good one against the Act 4 elites. And this deck doesn't necessarily need a Deva form at all. I think I'll just go Foresight and upgrade it. I don't think we would win this with 22 max HP. Not with a runic down. This turn's probably pretty good, I'm guessing.
I have a shuriken? <laughs> oh dear. almost seems infinite. It's not quite infinite yet, but it can get to a point where it's infinite if we remove enough of the cards that are in the way. At least I don't think it's infinite yet. wrong before in my life though, I don't know. <laughs> Do your worst. Okay. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Yeah, that, that was sort of it, but you want more? Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. Defeat impossible. Blasphemy. Blasphemy seems like pretty unimportant here, doesn't it? I think I'll take a wish. Might wish for some plated armor in some fights in this run. Also, just wish for gold, though. I could skip. Skip is an acceptable play. I'm going to take wish. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure that Runic Pyramid is busted. Right, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve real cards. It seems like it would be pretty good. It is worse with Runic Dome, because I don't necessarily know which turns to play things on, but... I'm gonna click it, you know. I could get three card removes this act from stores. It's pretty good. I also get two elites.
don't love the extra thorns, I don't think. That doesn't sound awesome. Oh, that works in that order? That is not the order I was hoping that would work in. Okay, a stance potion. I guess a stance potion is better than a bottled miracle at the moment. These cards seem bad. Oh, maybe it was better than fairy in a bottle. I mean, it was. Probably better than both of them. I need more energy. I still need more energy. This has been a very confused fight. Fasting Plus. Casting Plus is okay after I have Deva Form in play. I think at that point in the fight, things have stopped mattering, though, probably. I guess I have to think about artifact charges against Donu Deka. Also, Time Eater will cleanse Talk to the Hand, because a lot of my block is from Tantrum Talk to the Hand. I think I just don't want that. What was I waiting for? I was trying to do all of the things I could do, but I couldn't. Transient's back for more. Not this time, Transient, I hope. Maybe, we'll see.
<laughs> Transient with a steel chair. Unbelievable. Big ethanol. I'm going okay. Wondering if I can kill Transient or not. I think maybe if I played Dave before him turn one. I did not play Deva for in turn one. Which saved me a bit of health, but maybe cost me. An upgrade. Oh well. Yeah, I have definitely not played Wish. Body plus and follow up plus. All pretty bad here. Flex potion. Flex potion's pretty good. I don't know. How does Volt work against a TikTok boss when you play it? Uh, it ends your turn and then you take another turn. Not getting attacked this turn. I'm just gonna save energy, I think, rather than playing Reach Heaven. Getting attacked for lots this turn. Volt doesn't work very well in this fight. Huh, all of the good cards are still in my draw pile. Talk to the hand, yeah, wow. Well.
For some reason, it feels like my deck isn't that strong. Is that... Is that me being unreasonable? Wait, I'm just being unreasonable, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, I'm just being unreasonable. Okay, that's really... It just takes a while for it to be set up, I guess. Block for 81, not even a real infinite. Yikes. Some cards aren't upgraded yet. There are a lot of things not to like here. Okay, Wallop makes this deck a lot better. I like the deck more now. Try Deva form, that's a neat trick. Um, another Mental Fortress is pretty sweet. The Flash of Steel seems quite good. Lots of reasons to like that Flash of Steel. Hard Remove seems very good as well. That's all of my gold though, so I guess I don't get to do a ton of other stuff in stores this act if I do that. Your potion for artifact charges? Eh, I'm not that worried about artifact charges right now. We have a while before they're an issue, and it's possible that they're just not an issue at the moment anyway. Get rid of this defend. What's the relic on the right? Uh, Melange. Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, scry three. Probably decent in this situation, shuffling the draw pile quite a lot. It's just the start of the fight. Needs some accelerating. And that isn't a thing that speeds up the start of the fight, so... I pretty much just boss swap every time now, my joking game. I don't know how much you've been watching recently. I have decided to just accept it. We're not even being attacked yet. We're not even being attacked this turn. This is gross. This is, uh... This is very gross. I just looked at how much block I have. Um, hmm. Okay, I almost accidentally killed it. We're just going to end the turn in Wrath, I guess. Calipers would be pretty nice here. Ooh, Kunai. I don't know how often I play a block card, but sure. I have a Holt in my deck. I have a Vigilance. I have a couple of defends still. One defend? I think I have one defend still.
Weak potion? Weak potion might be okay. At some point, I would like to rest. I only have nine upgrades left, and I do have a lesson learned, so upgrading cards doesn't seem like the biggest deal, really. Although they're good upgrades. I just realized that because I'm playing Wish every fight, I actually do get to card remove at at least one of those stores. That's cool. I'm just gonna play it super safe, I think. Eh, no, I'm not. Gam Tour, I think so, 14 months. Just remove the upgrade cards. Just remove Wish. Don't need, didn't want. Include seems useful here. Wallop might be okay here too. Not sure I'm going to bother uh, killing those. Oh, I drew conclude. Sure, I'll kill them then. I am a graceful god. Gracious god? Graceful god? What's the line? Don't remember. I don't believe I played Wish yet, right? That's Wish. Tantrum gives me one energy. I wish for gold and I lesson learned. Got the Wish upgrade, cool. Blood Vial. Didn't need to worry about resting. Got a blood vial to take care of that for me. I haven't actually been scrying that much, so Nirvana seems like a whiff. Centennial puzzle. A relic is fine. Let's recall now. Oof. It doesn't attack you turn one, does it? Is this turn one? I'm gonna be totally honest, I have no idea what's going on. Did we win? I think we won. Turn one, it does its roar, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, see? <laughs> and this turn, it either attacks for uh, 30 or like almost nothing. Oh, I just blocked fully already. Okay, that's cool. You're welcome, Nick. Good luck on the SAT. I'm sure you'll do great. It was the big attack. That was pretty spooky. Antrim's pretty good. Yeah, it might be. 
That's certainly a hypothesis that I have been testing this run. Lesson learned is upgraded. Now we're talking. There's a cut through fate. How important is that card right now? I do have a shuriken and a kunai and a deva form and a talk to the hand. The only thing is it doesn't interact with rushdown and mental fortress. I think I might just skip it. Hold off. Wait for cards which interact with Rush Down the Mental Fortress. Okay, more people are here now, so... I have to show you. Jinfiz has sent in some art. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Ah! It's spooky Ghost Dig. Pretty cute little oil painting and then this is the main event hold your breath it's worth it are you ready are you ready to spam in chat this is stained glass that is <laughs> That is a stained glass podge. <laughs> it's pretty incredible, right? Hold on. We have to... <clears throat> we have to show it off more, I guess. I'm going to have to buy a new wall with more space on it just to put this up on the wall. Show back. This is the other side. Wait, actually, I think I was showing you the back the first time. I was showing me the front. It's hard to tell on the web camera. Jinfiz has sent those to me for free. She paid postage and she sent me cookies. Next time you see Jinfiz is in chat. Apply the appropriate amount of praise. It was a very nice thing to do. It made my day. I like orange palettes here. They should be pretty easy to proc and they'll help us a lot in the heart fight. It means that I didn't get a card remove, but that's okay. They're worth more than a card remove. I wonder how much I'm being attacked for. I should probably pay lay tantrum. Eight plus sixteen is twenty-four plus twenty-six, so I have fifty damage. That doesn't kill any of them. Maybe I shouldn't play tantrum then. Hopefully. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I don't think I'm going to want to conclude this turn. You want to go... Mental Fortress... Rush down, Tranquility, hit 
add a bunch. I guess I can vault if I want to. Vault. Inner piece scroll. Turn two is when the deck really comes online, it seems like. Turn one can be a little bit iffy. Turn two, though, hmm, starting to get into it. Save a form upgrade probably made it worse. Possible. Certainly possible. Oh, that doesn't actually deal enough damage. That lesson learned. I suppose that this works though. I need to play Wish somehow. Perfect. Hey. Don't think I've ended this many turns in Wrath without being intangible while I had Runic Dome in any other run of Slay the Spire that I've ever played. I have ended turn in Wrath without intangible with Runic Dome a lot this run. It really, like, it feels spooky. I'm going to take Omniscience. I think I'm keeping the fairy in a bottle forever, like as a pet. It gives you more hit points, and this says right here, if you run out of HP, you die. So it seems like hit points are important. I don't know. Some of these are quite good, like Flash of Steel, for example, is very good. I think we're fine to look at all of them. Huh. Deep Breath's actually okay. Deep Breath blocks for six. Because of Abacus. What about Enlightenment? Enlightenment has definitely been worse other times that I've seen it. I might take Enlightenment over, like, not Deep Breath, but I think Deep Breath is legitimately very good here. So I think we should take Deep Breath. When will Total War start? I'm going to skip over to Total War after this run, I think. That's my opinion about the Watcher. She is a character in Slay the Spire. Is pretty cool, I guess. Too bad that they don't upgrade. Enlightenment's in the third one? Yes, I know. But guess what else is in the third one? Deep Breath. Fear. The laughter echoes forever. I don't have to rest, do I? <laughs> Fuck resting, honestly. If I was single, would I date the Watcher? Uh, the Watcher is a video game character. Now. I 
I guess I'll use talk to the hand now. Eruption is still not upgraded. Eggs. Is this a deck that can go infinite? I don't think so. There's too many cards. Oh shit. We can double lesson learned. Oh no, I drew it. I can't discard it, can I? Can I discard it somehow? I don't think I can discard it. Damn. Damn, never mind. I don't have rushdown in play. These deep breaths, they're terrible. They're sabotaging me. Those two card removes away from being infinite, we will just have to deal with it being what it is, which is hopefully fairly easily enough to win the run. <laughs> Deep Breath doesn't really work with Meditate either. Deep Breath, why are you so shit? I trusted you. Hmm. Ouch. It doesn't even work with zero cards in the discard pile. What is this? What is this? Anything I'd like to play twice. Maybe Strike Plus would work. Conclude. I am done. Four mana true grit dealt damage instead of blocking. That's the key, I think. Sounds unlucky. Edgy yeah, Murphy. I love it when I draw Tantrum. It makes me immensely happy. Okay. Donu Daka. 
Big fan of bottled vault. Mm. Is Tantrum the best watcher card? A while ago I would have said no, but... I think at this point I'm at a solid maybe. Volt is the best. Volt's pretty good. Volt's definitely a good one. I like all of these cards, don't I? It appears I have no way to leave. Hmm. Okay, we're good. Scry is a bad mechanic when all of your cards are good. Scry is just a bad mechanic, let's be real. It's so boring to click on all of the cards. Just like, <laughs> there are better mechanics in the game. Strength gain, for example, and there, there's a mechanic. You just like have more strength and then when you hit things, they take more damage. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Chef's kiss. Scry makes you think too much. Oh, are you meant to think when you scry? That's what I've been doing wrong. Oh shit, if I don't draw... No, I should have discarded Lesson Learned. I could have set it up to get double Lesson Learned off Omniscience in this fight. I think I have the fight under control enough that that was actually a thing I could have done. But I didn't discard it when I scryed. Case in point! If only I had thought before I took the action that I took. Let's do this. That should win pretty easily. I don't remember who's attacking me, and I'm not sure it matters. If you could choose between Volt and Tantrum on floor 2, you would take Tantrum? Yeah, so would I. I think Tantrum is clearly better on floor 2. It's like floor 25 where it starts being an interesting question. Not to use fairy in a bottle yet. Got another lesson learned proc off. Did not get two though. Have 153 gold for the store. If I were to upgrade, I would upgrade probably Eruption. Feels a bit unlucky that Eruption isn't upgraded yet. If only there had been some way for it to get upgraded. Like, I don't know, me clicking on it and upgrading it. Purity? How good is Purity here? Alka, hello! I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it does seem better than card remove. 
The deck's a little bit slow, and purity makes it slower, but I think that's fine. If we hit it with Lesson Learned in the Act 4 Elite fight, we maybe get to go infinite. I'm not gonna grab like water. Just too slow, doesn't do enough. Purity has three card removes. Uh, well at best it's two. Hmm, is it? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. How do I feel about putting Deva form in play right now? Not very good. Getting there though. If I played it now, I would take 19 damage. Actually, not being attacked anymore, right? Does this ever attack me this turn? Shut. Oh, I can't remember. Does it matter? Probably doesn't really matter. Let's just do this. Three Blanc, do we care? If I ended the turn in Wrath, I would have taken damage there if both of them attacked me. And rather than work out if both of them could attack me, this seemed like a simpler option. Go ahead and vault with 54 block. <laughs> uh, um, I, I wanted it out of my hand, I don't know. If you omniscience tantrum, it is gone forever, that is correct. Well, not forever, but until the next fight. Lash of Steel upgrade. We got a Damaru at the start of your turn, gain one mantra. Cool. We got an Ambrosia. Enter Divinity Stats. That could be nice with Wallop. 
It could definitely be nice. Is it better than a weak potion? I don't know. I don't know that it is. Is it better than a fairy in a bottle? Probably. Realistically, yes. It's gonna kill this, I guess. Casting pallet seems slow with kunai and shuriken and playing 300 cards every turn. It doesn't actually seem good. Do you want to keep the fairy? Have we have we established a rapport with the fairy and we should keep it? Okay, I'll believe you. I missed it, but who knows what Twitch chat's getting up to while I'm playing the game. Oh. Feels very principled to not be wishing for um gold there. Feel like I could have just wished for gold, you know. Omniscience double talk to the hand, tranquility tantrum deva form. Doesn't quite work. Does that change anything? Ow. I'm Warna. Thanks for the 22 months. Padoru, Padoru. Damaru, Damaru. Damaru, Damaru. Damaru, Damaru. Damaru, Damaru. That's only on links the two months. Ow. God damn it. <laughs> I am being attacked this turn for like quite a lot, right? I don't remember how much. Shouldn't I have like done a variety of things differently throughout this entire yeah, I think so. Okay, anyway, I didn't. Flash of Steel. Inner piece. Oh, I took zero. Okay, that's nice.
But my hoodie and it's super comfy. I actually think the shirt is even better. The hoodie is good. The hoodie is a very solid hoodie. The shirt is one of the most comfortable shirts I've ever worn. Don't know how. It's crazy to me. How do you make a shirt that's just very comfortable? I don't know, but they did it. Anyway, I'm glad you like it. This fight seems to be over, which implies that the run is over, I think. I'm pretty sure, last I checked. I don't even know if this is a turn where I get attacked or not, I have no idea. Just clicking cards. When you watch you, you do the opposite and lose runs. Why are you losing runs? Uh, just unlucky, probably. If I had to guess, I would say probably just unlucky. It's that or um, that I'm cheating. One of the two. I wasn't even attacking that turn, that's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and save Volt for next run. Did Diamond Thief cheat at video games? You wouldn't think so. Definitely wouldn't think so. Release the fairy? I was meant to release the fairy at the end? I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I completely missed that subplot. I didn't understand it. Well, if I didn't lose the defect run, that would have been a really good couple of runs of Slay the Spire. I think the defect run was still pretty good. It was an interesting run. The lesson to be learned from it was that Defect really needs help accelerating through turn one and two, I think. And that deck didn't have it. <laughs>